Tonight, KPIX 5's Maria Medina is reporting PG&E is investigating whether its power lines caused yet another fire. This one in Milpitas that burned one home and damaged three others. Out of the four homes damaged on Sunday afternoon, this one was the worst of them all. And just when this fire was put out, neighbors believe a down power line caused yet another fire in this area. Sparks came from that power line right there and this fire started in seconds. Despite witness accounts of an arcing power line, oh my gosh. PG&E is not yet saying if in fact one of its lines caused a fire that destroyed this home on Barker Street. That house went up in flames in seconds. The wind so strong that day, neighbors feared the embers would cause more destruction. I was ready to leave. I packed everything and ready to leave. So I just grabbed my daughter, my dogs, everybody, just get them in the car. But while their concerns subsided as fire Firefighters knocked down the flames. They had no idea hours later their fears would come rushing back. It, it was making like kind of a sound like. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Jose Martinez says he saw another power line arc and then flames across the street. Were you worried? Oh my gosh, this is happening again. Oh yeah, yeah. In total, three more homes were damaged by fire, including Irma Linda Enriquez's roof. Do you think PG&E should have turned off your power because it was so windy that day? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something went wrong. So when we look at the uh, two incidents or two fires in, in Lafayette and the one in Milpitas, the potential for broad fire spread was not viewed at the criteria that we would use for PSPS. Last night, PG&E officials explained they did not turn off the power in the neighborhood over the weekend because it was not in its highest fire risk area. But the scoping that we do for the PSPS is really to prevent the catastrophic events from happening, not every event from happening. It's catastrophic to the people who live here. For some who live in this neighborhood, including Irma Linda's daughter, PG&E's explanation isn't good enough. It was catastrophic. We see all the firefighters working on your house. You don't know what's going to happen if we're losing our house. And Irma Linda and her family say they cannot live in their home for now because of all the smoke damage. By the way, we saw PG&E crew and an arborist working here all day. In Milpitas, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.